all right thank you very much for clicking on the video this is gold pain back again just a very very quick review of uh valkyria chronicles 2 uh, for the old psp so i got this game a while ago and i had never played a valkyria chronicles game before uh i do have one for the, the playstation 3 uh, but i got this one anyway so this game is fantastic this is really good i can now understand why sega has so many of these released in the series and uh, sort of similar games as well it's very similar to um uh, a game on the Game Boy Advance, um, but this one is a lot more kind of, you know, it's really like 3D. It's like a strategy RPG, but like th these guys have gone to the next level of strategy RPG. Uh, they've basically got like instead of the because most of the strategy RPGs you play are basically like top-down view, but this one is a top-down view. But you're also behind the character as well, and you're giving them sort of instructions um, on what to do and what enemies to attack. It's uh, it's very very intuitive and it's kind of it's easy to get the hang of as well. So it's the story is um, back in the Second World War I think, and it's kind of like a, an alternate kind of what if scenario uh, during the Second World War because a lot of the weapons seem to be more um, sort of updated than a, than the Second World War. But that might be my imagination. I'm not 100 percent sure. Maybe weapons are advanced in uh, during the Second World War, but they seem more advanced on this game. So. It's that sort of scenario, but it's a it's not a what if scenario. It's more like a, an alternate uh, scenario of a, of a of a war. So you do you start off uh, in a school, a military school, and then you're at war with uh, another uh, country, another um, sort of uh, group, and you have to basically take positions. Uh, the first few missions are training missions, which is which is really handy. So you're just training against your other uh, schoolmates. Uh, and then you go against uh, the enemy characters and uh, there's a few different modes in it as well uh, some like the town modes or sort of like beside a river or, or uh, just kind of kind of general sort of urban combat uh, where you just have to advance on an enemy's position and basically take their area then you've, uh, you've won the, the skirmish other other modes are uh, well not modes but uh, like bits of the game where you have to basically uh, kind of capture the flag kind of scenario as well where you just need to get to, get to an objective uh, but it does uh, it does you do spend a lot of time um, in a battle uh, sometimes particularly later on in the game uh, but just for the start of the game and uh, kind of if you're just trying to play it um, you know kind of to determine whether whether you whether you're going to devote uh, the hours necessary uh, it is it is um, very intuitive and very uh, very easy to get into at the very start well I think it is anyway it does get more complicated as, as the game goes on but very entertaining game and uh, in the in the strategy genre, I think this is some of the some of the best graphics I've seen in this sort of a uh, uh, the kind of strategy RPG genre, just because of the the sheer excellent visuals of it. It's the same as you know previous uh, strategy games like Vandal Hearts, Final Fantasy Tactics. It's a very very similar style, but because of the sort of the graphical upgrade, it just seems m way more advanced. Like this is the next level of strategy games. Just because of the the, the graphical um, the graphical advancements made in this game, I'm sure there are other games like this. I just haven't played yes. them, but um, yeah. So that is Valkyria Chronicles 2. Uh, if you've played this game, uh, let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And I'm off now to finish uh, this. I started the game again uh, because I forgot where it was, so I'm off to finish this uh, particular scenario here. And then I think I will play another few hours of it just to just to see how it go and then try something else. So thank you very much for clicking on the video. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Adios.